Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I am going to be giving one fact for every single piggy skin in book one, though. <laughs> Not every single piggy skin in the game. Oh uh, yeah, every single piggy skin in book one. Um, this does not include Poli, since he is counted as an extra skin, even though he used to be counted as a book one skin, because it wasn't any, any like, extra skins in the game. But yeah, it doesn't count Poli, but it counts every other skin that is in the book one section in skins in Roblox Piggy. But before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite book one skin is. Alright, um, also disclaimer that some facts, are that there's like two facts with some skins, so like one fact, I was gonna name the title, um, two facts and maybe one fact, and every piggy skin, like that's just stupid, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, now we're getting into the video. Alright, let's start with the first, um, skin, Piggy. Uh, the bot in chapter one is actually Penny Pig, alright, so Piggy is Penny Pig, even though they have, um, a lot of differences and they kind of don't look alike at all but yeah mini tune did confirm that penny pig is the actual piggy in chapter one now the little brother skin was actually the bot for every single chapter until the school map came out when mini tune decided to add individual bots that fit the chapters um from like now on all right so yeah each maps then had separate bot skins now the mother skin is quite interesting with black pupils Meaning she had to have died at some point. But she is still the bot and alive in chapter 2. Which is quite strange. Um, this wasn't confirmed by any means. But the memory skin has black eyes. The lore skin has black eyes. They're both dead. And not real. Or nightmares. They're both definitely nightmares that Mini Tune had. So no one really knows why Mother has black eyes. It's, it's pretty weird. Now the father skin is the bot in chapter 3. The gallery. And with along with the Piggy family, Mother and Penny, he was one of Mr. P's first volunteers for the supposed cure or substance 128. The grandmother skin owns a small business called Grandma Piggy's Poutine, which could be found in the city map where she is also a secondary bot. Sheepy was the main bot in Chapter 4 and is also close friends with Mr. P. Sheepy, Mr. P, and Bunny were also all in a group together. This was confirmed by some notes. I'll put them up on the screen here. And yeah. Pandy firstly becomes canon to the storyline in Book 2 as a TSP member. She also has red and white eyes, meaning that she was hinting at being a member all along. So yeah, red and white eyes mean that they are in TSP. Now to the teacher skin. She got infected by drinking Substance 128. Um, you can see the potion empty on the desk, on the teacher's desk in the school map. And she also taught Z and Zuzi at school, which was confirmed in the Piggy Book 2 and credit scenes. For the memory skin, this map came out, um, in, within like the first two weeks or one week within Piggy. But she first became canon to the storyline in the extra chapter, Distorted Memory as the main bot. She was also confirmed to be one of Georgie's family members, but nobody knows who. Now for the kitty skin, she also first appeared in the storyline as a member of DSP, but she also did have a diner found in the mall map, well before Zero DSP, called Kitty's Kitchen. And just like Pandy, she has red and white eyes that um, hinted that she was also in DSP. Next skin we have is Mimi, who firstly appeared in the storyline, a part of the safe place group in the end cutscene of chapter 10, the mall map, where she is seen in the background with Giraffe. Um, she also has a disability, where she is colorblind and has poor vision. And she also studied that, as you can see from a certificate or a photo or something that's in the safe place. I'll put it on the screen. Next we have Dino Piggy, which is a non canon skin. And it's confirmed by Minitune that it was not based off of Georgie's toy or George's toy in the Pet Pig series. Now for the Daisy skin, she does own a store called Daisy's TVs, which could be found in the Alley's map. She also looked after Willow and William after their parents got arrested. But since she was drafted into the military, she kind of had to abandon Willow and William, which was pretty, you know, sad, you know what I'm saying? 
for the Angel skin that came out in the Chapter 4 Forest update, and it shares the same jump scare sound as Devil, but Angel's jump scare sound is way more higher pitched. Pony is the first character to have mentioned the insolence that was seen in Chapter 4 of Book 2. He also survived the entirety of Book 2, and he was the first person to ever drink the real cure. The Devil Skin came out along with the Trader Game Mode. That's kind of it. We have we don't really know anything about that Devil Skin. Now for Doggy, we do know a lot about this character. He is the first character that the player meets, or well knows in the storyline that you see in the storyline, and the first one the player seems to become infected. Doggy also arrested Willow with the player in the alleys before the infection. Giraffe, this character also came out with the traitor game mode and also got shot in the ending cutscene of chapter 5 of book 2 but he still managed to survive now for barry barry is the main bot for the hospital map for chapter 6 his weapon was supposed to be a giant needle but it got scrapped because of roblox's term of service for foxy he first appeared in the gallery map in the beginning cutscene for the gallery map but he is no longer there due to story inconsistencies. And now we first see him trapped in a cage at the carnival map. He's also believed to have worked with TSB before from a note in the refinery mentioning him. Ellie. Now Ellie is the main bot for Chapter 9 of the City, but she also appears in the Piggy Book 2 hidden ending cutscene as one of the infected that teleport and come out of the ground, as you can see on the screen. For the first soldier skin, this skin came out along with the outpost map, of course, and there are multiple soldier bots in the map that come out from the ground. Um, we don't really know much about soldier. That's that's really the only really fact I can put on. Now for the zombie skin, this skin is the main bot for the metro map in chapter seven. His identity is yet to be discovered, but Minitoon mentioned that he will find out who he is eventually, meaning maybe he is actually a big part of the storyline. For the Badger skin, he firstly appears in the plant map as the main bot in the last map of book one. He is also the first ever skin to come out with an alternate version that was seen in season one of Piggy. Another big character, we have Bunny, who is the second character the player ever met in the storyline. Not in his whole life, the f well I should say the second player that we ever see. Alright, she is also known to be in that group with Mr. P and Cheapy. And it is said that she gets infected again because you know the metro map. But we are getting a character focused chapter on her soon, so we'll really be able to see what happens. Now, for the Skelly skin, this skin came out along with the release of Chapter 6 The Hospital. This was because a lot of players saw the Skelly model that was seen in the school map and they wanted it as a skin. So, Minitoon added it in the next chapter. Now the clowny skin is the main bot for everyone's favorite map, the carnival. He is also known to be very independent before the infection due to his green infected pupil. On another big character, we have Tigre, who first appears in the storyline as one of the TSP members. He is also known to have a, had a very rough childhood and has his own fight scene with Willow in the ending cutscene of Piggy Book 2 Chapter 11. Next we have Mousy who first appeared as the second bot in the mall map seen in the vents without legs. The skin itself has Robbie's legs, so it is believed that she ripped off Robbie's legs so she could use them on her own. This is still a theory, but it, it it's I'm pretty sure it's just like fully accurate. It has to be. For the Paracy skin, this skin came out a day before the Distorted Memory chapter, and it was also supposed to be the main bot for that chapter, but it got changed to memory. Big character, Zizzy, who gets infected after getting kidnapped by TSP. She gets infected by Poli, actually, in the ending cutscene of chapter three of book two. She also had her own character focused chapter called The Distraction. Next we have Ghosty, who came to the game because of the first ever skin contest that Piggy had. She's also a female, but has individual fingers as males do. As males do, oh my god. For the building skin, this skin was made by Tenuous Flea, the developer of accurate piggy roleplay. 
and he was first found canon in the storyline as a friendly NPC in the Heist chapter, who is also believed to be a friend of Willow. For the Budgie skin, she first appeared in the ending cutscene of Chapter 7 of Book 2, Canon, but she was brought into the game from a piggy skin contest, the same one that Ghosty was in. Second to last, we have Torture, who's the main bot of Chapter 11, and he's also the most expensive skin buyable in the Book 1 section. Lastly, we have the main antagonist of Book 1, Mr. P. Alright, he's believed to have started the whole infection, but there has been theories that it was Tio or the insolence who have something to do with it. To acquire a skin, you need to firstly acquire the true ending badge that really reveals how Piggy Book 1 actually ended, and reveals that he was the person who gave the Piggy family Substance 128, and he also gave his wife Substance 128. And yeah, that's it for the video! Nice little video about every single fact for every single skin and Piggy Book 1. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I could do a Piggy Book 2 version or a extra skin version if you guys would like. So yeah, that's all for me today. See you on the next one. Peace.